Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Mother and Refuge of the End Times, an article found on the Virgin Mary forums. Maximum alert, is World War III approaching? Prophecy of Maria Julie Jehenny for June 29th. In Medjugorje, there's an urgent call for prayer. For the first time in over 40 years since the Medjugorje apparitions began, the Queen of Peace has asked that pilgrims and local parishioners climb the Hill of Apparitions each night starting June 16th, 2024, to pray a novena and join together everywhere for world peace. She also announced that she will appear every day. What's going on? Well, you don't need to be a genius to figure out what's happening. Just look at the news a bit. Moreover, a century ago, Maria Julie Jehenny predicted that on June 29th, large riots would erupt in Paris leading to World War III. We'll be discussing the call for Medjugorje and Maria Julie Jehenny's prophecies about June 29th, questioning whether the early signs are in place for a major war in 2024. The Queen of Peace of Medjugorje has asked the pilgrims and locals to gather at the Hill of Apparitions at 10 p.m. starting on June 16, 2024, to pray a novena for peace. She promises that she will appear at 11.30 p.m. during the nine days. Nothing like this has been remembered in over 40 years of appearances. It's a call to prayer and sacrifice. On January 1st, she invited everyone for three hours of prayer on the hill for her intentions, and they did so in the rain. And there, she said that neither you, your children, nor your grandchildren would regret the great graces that will be obtained by doing what she asked. On April 25th, we were reminded that Satan is very strong, working through human minions who have chosen death and hate. It looks like 2024 is a pivotal year. Interestingly, on April 8th, 2024, a solar eclipse occurred in the United States with its shadow passing over seven cities named Nineveh, a clear call to repentance. And on May 13th, massive auroras occurred that were even visible in the Southern Hemisphere, like those seen before World War II. The Virgin is telling us in her appearances that we are in the midst of a spiritual battle between life and death, and that we need to be prepared to fight with prayer and sacrifice. She's inviting us to join her army of prayer and sacrifice, and she promises us not only victory, but also announces benefits for future generations. This is happening as the stakes of the major powers for war are increasingly higher, as the apostasy in the church deepens more and more, and when France the eldest daughter of the church, incorporated the right to abortion in its constitution. Over 100 years ago, Maria Julie Jehenny predicted an unprecedented crisis in France and that this slow agony would brutally end on a June 29th. Could it be June 29th, 2024? In just over a year, the collapse and destruction of the misguided society could occur, starting with violent events led by revolutionary movements. And these would be suddenly and unexpectedly accompanied by earthquakes. But she also said that this period would lead to a much more beautiful new world, far removed from the terrifying futures imagined by many science fiction authors and prophets of apocalyptic visions. The Most Holy Virgin told Maria Julie Jehenny on March 16, 1880, My children, you are called to the regeneration of an extraordinary grace. You will be known as the children of a new world, a world renewed by the powerful plenitudes of grace. She prophesied that major revolutionary upheavals would begin on June 29th, on the Feast of Saints Peter and Paul, triggered by the Congress's approval of an infernal law. This would spark a revolution in Paris and spread over the following days throughout France. There will be some sort of a Masonic plot aiming to subject the Catholic Church to this infernal law. They will establish and enact a law that will force the clergy and Christians in general into compliance with perverse laws. They aim to instill terror and make even the sanctuaries inaccessible, leading to their looting and many sacrileges. This first revolutionary crisis should last four weeks. 
Then there would be a second crisis, the invasion of France by the Russian army allied with Crescent forces. The same will happen in Italy, and things will escalate internationally due to the much-feared Third World War. Several prophecies predict a massive, sudden airstrike followed by a supposed peace conference in Budapest. According to Alois Ermeyer, three key politicians would be assassinated at this peace conference. Then, starting the very next night, a sudden invasion would occur. This would catch Europe off guard, as it would already be paralyzed by internal revolutions. It's all connected. Because the Virgin told Maria Julie Jeheny that the Civil War and the World War would be so intertwined that it would be unclear which started first. Only seven months later, peace would be restored in France with the arrival of a savior, the great monarch, who will lead a Christian army to drive out the invaders from France. He would lead an army reminiscent of Joan of Arc, with supernatural events protecting and aiding his army. This king, along with a similar one from Spain, will launch a European campaign to liberate parts of Europe, especially Italy, where the civil war will be particularly brutal, according to Elise Elmer and Maria Julie Jehini. This campaign will last three and a half years. The great monarch will take the name Henry V of the Cross and will be a descendant of Louis XVI. He will subdue the two enemy forces, restoring France to its rightful place as the eldest daughter of the Catholic Church, which it lost due to the apostasy. And what will be the signs to know which June 29th it will be? The Lord announced to Maria Julie Jehini on March 9, 1878, My children, some time before these sinister signs are seen on earth, the effect of my justice will already be felt in the heart. He announced terrible earthquakes that would be universal. Many fruit trees will not flower, nor will they sprout. The leaves will not grow, remaining bare as in the dead of winter. The leaves of the vine will not appear, rye will not sprout, and food for livestock will be scarce that year. Another precursor sign is the attack, mockery, and blasphemies against the Catholic Church. The global stock market crash predicted by Alois Ermer, major inflation, money losing its value, and the bankruptcy of banks predicted by Maria Julie Jehini should occur before the Civil War, and the visit of the Pope to Moscow, as predicted by the Garabandal prophecies. Another sign predicted by Maria Julie Jehini is the insecurity in cities and an atmosphere of ultraviolence throughout France. And a concerning sign is the return of cholera, an epidemic also predicted by Maria Julie Jehini. Moreover, according to her prophecies, we should expect distressing news from Jerusalem, Iran, and England. According to Alois Elmer's prophecies, these could neutralize the political power of the U.S. due to significant internal conflicts, which would prevent it from assisting European nations. So that's what mainly we wanted to discuss about the prophecies for June 29th. And I'd like to ask you if you think the signs are already in place for a major war in Europe in 2024 or not. Thank you for your support. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Please stay and join us for prayers and devotions. Chaplet of the Divine Will, given to us by Saint Annabel de Francia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus, we praise you, we love you, we bless you, and we thank you, who are God with the Father and the Holy Spirit, in your holy and eternal divine will. Amen. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We are thrilled to be releasing our latest prayer book titled The Most Holy Rosary Prayers and Mystical Meditations of Saints and Seers. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church. Garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, the only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass in the divine office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion. To assist with this process, Mother and Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. We have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God, Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique rosary prayer book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a rosary prayer book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry and our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.